Especially for you, Kostroumas, Fatoumas cats, sometimes referred to by the round hair cuts as CBs, we dedicate the following bucket of loquacious bumps. It's Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee joins the can-do, will-do, did boys tonight for a hip-top ride in the Sonata Steam Shovel. And we've gathered a half dozen studs and hens to lay down a wolf on a couple of cool tips that'll start the wheels turning under your sky pieces. Among the aforementioned, you will hear the King Cole Trio and a couple of king-sized cadenzas, a lovely little Largo limper named Dorothy Salter, a knocked-out obligato by a quartet of CBs from the Blackjack Battalion, the Burns and the Allen with the George and Gracie handles, and the an one and only is Callaway with the famous cab frontispiece. piece. And now, here's your master of grooveries, that half-track with the belt in the back, Ernie Bubbles Whitman. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! And a big fat hello to Construmius Batumius Cats all over the various hemispheres. Before the stuff starts seeping from the spigot, let's have a word from this mellow man we've missed here in Hot Horn Hall for too many early brights and dims. Say hello, Cab. Howdy ho, men. It seems I've been away from the hall for about 38 7. And believe me, it's a pleasure to be back. I hear the stuff is being beamed especially for the Navy groovy shovel men, and we'd like to dedicate our first hunk of hot to all of them down around the waistline of the world. It's 105 in the shade. Begin at the beginning, Cam.
killed Cab Calloway. That was a mighty medallion for the Consumius Battalion. And now Jubilee does a right oblique and comes phrase to phrase with the digits manipulated of the first ivory. He's with us tonight, complete with a cat on the gift box and his dog house man, Nat Cole and the King Cole Trio. <laughs> Before you uh, noodle your nimble knuckles, would you like to wiggle your wisdom, Matt? Yes, Ernie. Me and the boys would like to dedicate our little opal to the following CBs who dug Jubilee on the third bride of a few sevens ago. Johnny Gleason, machinist third class, fireman first class George Pop, Herman Lewis Seaman second class with the Mobile Amphibian Group, and Seaman J. Corb. <laughs> To swing and shout, get your kicks and get about. I'm an errand boy at rhythm. Send me. They should boost and follow through. I'll deliver straight to you. I'm an errand boy at rhythm. Send me. You can always find me down at Smokey Joe's. That's the place where all the gals and gators go. If you want to ride tea, just let them call me. I'm an errand boy at rhythm. Send me. Transom, and are with us tonight to say hello to some of their gang. Here's Seaman First Class Ernest W. Henderson, Percy Hill, Paul C. Richards, and Wilbur Porter. Boys, I hear that the CB's motto is, the difficult can be done immediately, the impossible takes a little longer. Is that right? Yes, Ernie. And there are many stories about the CB's that prove they are living up to that motto. Well, for instance, uh, they have unloaded cargo for, from ships doing all bombardment. They have had airfields ready for planes two hours after they have been taken from the enemy. Mm-hmm. That's very good. That's very yeah. good. There's another kind of story about the CBs I'd like to tell you. A battalion in the jungle one very, very hot night thought it would be nice to have some ice cream. Oh, I see. <laughs> the cook agreed to supply the ingredients, but had no ice cream freezer. So? So the guys got together and found an old oil drum, a couple of discarded artillery shells, mm -hmm. some brass tubing, and a couple of fins off some bombs. Oh, yeah. They put their heads together, poured the bat into the cylinder, rotated the crank a couple of times, and out came the new Guinea to the fruiter. <laughs> Sounds like a fine mess. <laughs> and Ernie, on behalf of the CBs, we'd like to offer our help to the Jubilee. Well, just how would you like to help us? We know that you spell Jubilee backwards, and it comes out Ila Bush. That's right, that's right. Well, we put our toppers together and figure out a way to spell it backwards and forwards. In the same time. Oh. 
And with your permission, we'd like to demonstrate it for you. Now, this is going to be interesting. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make the announcement. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness, for the first time in history, my four mighty sea bees, an amazing feat. Jubilee is about to be spelled backwards and forwards at one and the same time. Quiet, please. Ready, boys. Ready. One, two, three, two. two. I thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Jubilee is grateful to you for your inspired contribution. Comes time now for a return visit to Callaway, Cat, and his mellow menagerie. What set of sharps and flats have you stuffed with your solid sleeve, Cab? Well, we want to knock off a little lumpy Largo called We the Cat Shall Help You. Mm-hmm. And we want it to beam especially for E.J. Cario, Seaman Second Class, Julian Rambert, Leo McElton, Robert Dexter, Bob Papperstein, and Tino, Tino Lo Jones. Stuart mate first class. Attach your auditory uh, apparatus to the sound box gate, because here comes this solid jive. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Yeah. 
Calloway, that one nibbled our knuckles right up to the wrist. Then we relax from the jive for the nonsense we enter the cheek department. Assembling herself at the microphone is a beauteous member of the Canary family who's going to wrap her choice voice around the killer cycle with the aid of some specks and spots called star eyes. It's Dorothy Salter. Proceed, Dorothy. <laughs> That was one for Hot Horn Hall's album of Aggravated Allegro. Cats, it's indeed a pleasure to gas away your cats for this by wrapping my choppers around the following syllables. For many sets of 52 sevens, these next mellow jacks have been tender in the of righteous studs and hens on this side of the big wet. They're America's top comedy team and have caused our midriffs to do an abundance of heaving and hoeing. 
Meet the cat with the handle of George and the kitten with the grace of his piece, Burns and Allen. Gracie, here we are on Jubilee. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? You know, George, that announcer speaks better French than Charles Foyer. Gracie, that's not French. It's jive. That's the way they talk in jive. Jive? Hmm. I is that an island in the Pacific? No, dear, that's a fad. It's, uh, it's the language of the Hepcats. Oh, what island are they on? Look, Gracie, they're all over. If you're hep, it means you're hip. Oh, hep means hip. That's right. Uh, well, I'd feel awfully silly saying that Paul Whiteman has big hip. <laughs> Paul Whiteman hasn't got big hips. Have you seen him lately? Look, I'm, uh, I'm getting tired of this. Let's, uh, let's drop Whiteman. No, George, you hold up your end and I'll hold mine. I think I've got the heavy end. Well, a little exercise will take that off. <laughs> Thanks. Gracie, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid you'll, you'll never be as mellow as a cello or sharp as a harp. In other words, you're, you're not a square from Delaware. Well, of course not. I'm a bounce from Jersey. <laughs> a bounce from Jersey? Yeah. You're not from Jersey. You're, you're from New York City. Well, that's just about some Jersey. Gracie, try to try to understand this. If you're hep to the jive and you meet a friend on the street, you don't say hello. No? No. You say, uh, give me some skin jack. Lock it, sock it, and put it in your pocket. Uh, uh, put what in your pocket? Uh, nothing. You, you just say it. But why? Well, why do you say hello to people? Because I like them. Well, certainly. Well, if I like them, I'm not going to lock them and sock them and put them in my pocket. <laughs> I, I haven't even got a pocket. Mm. I'm afraid you just haven't got your boots laced. Ah, oh, have you? Sure, I have. Oh, that's silly. How can you lace button shoes? <laughs> Look, dear, we're invited to Jubilee because there were a lot of requests for you to say hello to the cats overseas. Go ahead and drive it up. Oh, okay. Uh, Mazzy dotes and dozy dotes, but little cats eat liver. <laughs> Gracie, that's, that's wrong. Don't be ridiculous, George. Show me a cat that doesn't like liver. All right, cats like liver. Well. But that has nothing to do with you saying hello to the boys. I've explained jive to you. Now, go ahead. Uh, do the best you can. Um, well, dear cat, uh, this is Gracie with the George husband saying that if you want to be latched on, be sure that your hips are hep and give Paul White and plenty of liver. Fine, fine. And if you lock them and sock them and put them in your pocket, and you'll be bounced right out of Jersey. Because Mersey jive and Dozy jive and little lambs dash away their cat's veracity. Boot. Well, that's a good night, folks. Thank you, George Burns and Gracie Allen. Then as the tide starts to go out of this salty sonata, we call on the Heidi Ho man for news about the winder upper. Come in, cab. Well, men, here are a few more CBs we'd like to give a nod to. We want to thank them for spilling the blue fluid on the pulp. There's a Seaman Second Class Bermy Nee Foster, Fred B. Keller, and five killer dealers called Sanders, Lynch, Drasman, Foss, and Aubrey. And along with the above, may I say hello to Lance Corporals, Martin and Davis, from way, way across the Big Wet. Now here's the jive, and it's some of these days.
Badger Vest Button Blitz by Jubilee from Hot Horn Hall under the solid cast veracity of the Armed Forces Radio Services.